Happy St. Patrick's Day. It uh, looks like I'm in the green today. My count went up 1,352.8% today. So it's a, it was a good day for me. My top performers were uh, Zedge. Zedge was up 26 point, almost, yeah, about 25, 26% today. And the reason they were up, I got to pull up, you know, let me pull up their earnings. So Zedge, I know they had a blowout earnings yesterday. Um, income statement. If you don't know anything about this company, they make uh, cell phone customizable apps like ringtones, backgrounds, and they sell on the Android platform and they have plans to go to the iPhone. But if you look at their quarterly statement, this is ridiculous. Like their, their net income uh, doubled over the last quarter and their sales almost doubled. And I, I believe their EBITDA doubled and um let's see here yeah but i don't know where it's on here but it, i was looking at one of the other statements they they have you know little to no debt as well and um i got into them with actually a calendar spread where i bought the back end and sold the front end and you know plan plan to see where they go from there i might sell you know uh april strike price let's take a look at that one dollar uh i might give them a little more room to run and sell you know the 25 against it just in case you know it moves up really quickly but yeah it might be a long-term play so i might i might move my option back from july 16th expiration back anyways another thing i wanted to bring up was amc is reopening all their theaters i thought that was that was interesting and also disney is reopening april 30th but i will have a little bit of cash tomorrow to play with i have a couple thousand maybe even three or four thousand dollars um next week after i sell some options and i was thinking of either getting fiverr or airbnb um both were picks i'll show you my watch list i created for it from um the motley fools newsletter their subscription newsletter these are all their current recommendations right now so they have recommended skills, IDEX Labs, Fiverr, Airbnb, Lemonade, Shopify, Pinterest, Zoom, Nintendo, Activision, Amazon, and PayPal. You don't like almond milk? But if we look at the performance of this over the last month, Fiverr is down. So it has a potential to bounce back. You know, look at the run it's had over the last 52 weeks, up 900%. You know, it's kind of like how Tesla took off, Fiverr took off as well, and it still might have some room to run. I've used Fiverr to hire uh, people to make a logo I needed for my other uh, office job. Yeah, if we look at Airbnb, Airbnb just took off, you know, r one month after it IPO'd, and it's already up 37% this year. So Airbnb is interesting because it's kind of like a reopening play. People want to travel. People want to save money, so they'll they'll turn to Airbnb. You know, I've heard people saying, "Oh, when things reopen, I want to take you know take a vacation or whatever." But yeah, I think that's got the potential to uh, to book some impressive numbers. I know they're expanding to other countries as well. I don't know about their balance sheet. I'm not even going to take a look at that right today. But yeah, I'm, I'm I'm thinking about getting the, either of the two. And if you uh, if you have any opinion on which one would be better, you just leave a leave a comment below. Uh, anything else going on in the market today? Let me take a look. Oh yeah, Jerome Powell, the Fed spoke. Um, he said he's not going to lower, not going to increase interest rates. Going to remain with his current current plan for the economy, and uh very good is that taxes 
have been moved to May 17th. So you don't have to do your taxes until May 17th. Like I said, Disney reopened, AMC reopened. Um, let's take a look at what else happened in my portfolio. I do my leap cover call list. You know, I just put a list of you know everything because it's a lot easier to see. But yeah, Zedge was a big winner. I don't even have blockchain right anymore. SOS, I'm doing covered calls against. They give such a huge premium, a 13% premium. It's ridiculous. And uh, breakaway drive bulk shipping. I have a small account with Weeble. So I actually bought this. What I notice about this ETF is this is a monster on a tear. Look at this. Look at this, it's just up from, you know, February when the market crashed. When the market started to crash back in February and everything went down, it went the opposite direction. So I figured I'd, I'd buy some of this to bounce out my portfolio. And um, basically this just uh, ETF that follows bulk dry shipping and with everything reopening and with oil and gas prices increasing, this follows the contract future contracts of bulk dry shipping and they have just been going up as a result of the increasing oil prices and the higher demand so i got into this instead of caster maritime i know a lot of youtubers are recommending that one as well i mean there's a uh, also star or eagle bolt dry bolt shipping so that's that's been a sector that's been up lately let's take a look at what other um sectors are up you could go to bar charge and stock and industry heat map and find out what's up over the last month retail uh, let's go over the last five days what's up electric manufacturing semi analog retail gaming so you could look through and find out what's up for the day you know semiconductors semiconductors up so amd probably up to um, i even check build a bear sporting goods dick sporting goods alta beauty five below so you you know your retail stores and Gaming, esports league, that's an interesting one. DraftKings, all these gambling sites. What's an interesting stock is this gamble. GM, I think it's GMBL. Yes, esports entertainment. I know this thing has been on a tear too. For the course of the last three months, look at this. Just jumped up. Monster gains. And I know um, the guy that shorted GameStop, Melvin Capital, he made the suggestion that, you know, Co Ryan Cohen or whatever his name is that, that bought um, GameStop, the owner of Chewy, buy this franchise when they had the capital, you know, raise the capital while their stock prices are high and buy this franchise. And that kind of, I kind of looked into this and, um, yeah, I looked into the documentary on Netflix. If you get a chance, watch that about video gaming. It is a bigger industry than than football, than all the sports leagues almost combined. It said something along those lines. I'm not exactly sure. I'd have to go back and look. But it's a it's a bigger franchise than, than sports. And it's just getting tapped into right now. I mean, kids nowadays, they instead of watching football, they watch like a Fortnite competition or a League of Legends. And this is kind of... What this is allows, I think it allows people to bet on these sports games or whatever, uh, esports games or whatever they call them. But yeah, that's a that's a really interesting stock. And uh, come back and we'll see what other sectors are up. I like to go to the ETFs, popular ETFs, ETFs by class. That will tell you what's really up for the day. So change. So home building and suppliers are up. Of course that. Breakaway drive bulk shipping is up. Gold mining is up. Aerospace defense is up. Uh, transformable data sharing is up. And it's also good to check the one month and kind of look at the trend. Retail, retail, R E T L. It's a triple long, long ETF. You want to 
invest in these retail stores like I was showing Dick Sporting Goods and all that. That might be a better. And then because of oil, this is also a triple leveraged ETF, NRGU. The banks are up. So, yeah, you can kind of see what's up over the past month, what the trends are, you know, to kind of balance out your uh, tech stock portfolio. So that's that's all I got for uh, for today. But, yeah, it's it's a green day. I'm on my my quest to double my account. And if you look, I was doing so good until the tech crashed. I kind of realized I'm kind of over leveraged in uh ev plays okay that's another thing i wanted to talk about volkswagen where is it no no it's not volkswagen is it volkswagen yeah it's volkswagen um it skyrocketed today because apparently they're out selling out selling Tesla yeah let me bring up the articles and see why it was going up so crazy today but yeah there will be the a competitor to Tesla in the EV sector and they're making moves there so this has been up mad today and over the last day I should have bought it yesterday when when they made the announcement that they're moving more towards EVs but yeah that's that's kind of what I thought about when reviewing the the valuations of Tesla, Neo, Churchill Capital, some of these other automakers they're just not going to keep making regular cars they're going to they're going to start making EV cars and compete in that space too so yeah that's another thing to watch out for Volkswagen I think it's also undervalued by uh, most most uh, fundamental measures as well. I know Ford was, and I bought Ford. And um, at the beginning of the year, I, I just bought one option. I had too much money at the time. It was Ford was about ten dollars at the time. I bought an option in September, and look at how much I'm up. I bought the option for $65. It's now worth $181. It's return of 178.46%. I just wish I bought more, but like I said, I didn't have enough money at the time. But yeah, one of the things you got to look at when buying options too is implied volatility. And you could pull that up. I use bar chart because I, I, I just paid the membership to have all the other features on it. But IV rank and IV percentile when I bought Ford the IV percentile was like at four or five percent meaning that the options were really cheap because there wasn't a lot of volatility um, if we could see I think I saw DraftKings on there that might be in Fastly is a good one to buy right now uh, DraftKings, if you're interested in that. The IV rank as well. You know, how volatile it's been recently. Um, Tattooed Chef might be another good long-term option to buy based on the, the volatility. Um, Neo, of course, Neo hasn't been as volatile as it was before. And this is all versus, you know, it's one-year rank, but... It's price relative.